Welcome back to my channel. This is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. I'm so excited to share with you my life as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business. Today's video is all about my tips on how you can start your own YouTube channel um, right now with no money. So I'm gonna let you on in a little secret. I probably uploaded my very first YouTube video when I was around 13 years old. So that's like 12 years ago. Um, I loved singing at the time and I always wanted to do singing covers so I definitely uploaded them with my point-and-shoot camera um, so if I had the chance to start all over again um, especially when I didn't have all this fancy equipment that I have right now what would have I done so other than everything that I'm talking about to you today um, make sure you sign up from the description down below um, my free YouTube checklist on a budget so you can have all the access and all the reference that you need to start your own YouTube channel so my number one tip before starting anything before finding your equipment before doing any of that is to just find out why you are doing this. Why do you want to start your own YouTube channel? Is it because you want to do it as a hobby? Is it because you want to help level your business? Or are you just doing it for entertainment wise? Um, that way you can figure out what you want to do and then you can start thinking about when you do actually make some money, whether it's through a job or through YouTube, um, what to invest it in. So that is my number one tip. So I'm sure you're here because you wanted to see all about the filming equipment and and how to edit and all that stuff and what to do when you have no money. So obviously the first thing I would say is to use your phone. Your phone is something you use every single day and if it's for video, why not? Um, so my phone right here, I have the 8 Plus, so it's not even the newest model. It's actually pretty, un not dated anymore. Um, it's pretty old, if I can, if I can tell you. Um, but cameras nowadays are really good with their cameras. They're very, very good quality and it just, you can just use it. Um, if I had um, no equipment back in the day or if I didn't even have a point and shoot camera, well, I didn't have a phone back then, so I don't even know what would I've done. Uh, but this is the perfect tool to use. So my tip for this is to not use the front facing camera. The front facing camera is good um, because you first, obviously you can see yourself. Second, um, you'll feel more comfortable because you're just basically looking at yourself. Um, but the thing is the quality of the front facing camera is not as good as the back facing camera. So I definitely recommend using the back facing camera. Um, the downside to this is that obviously, yes, you can't see yourself, but sometimes you don't wanna be able to um, watch your own video and notice that you're looking at yourself more than the lens so it doesn't feel like you're actually talking to your audience um the little the bad thing is you might not know if you're in frame um i would use a mirror that you can kind of like reflect to see if you're in frame and stuff like that um and usually the autofocus in the camera is pretty good so you don't really need too much on that um so when you are filming so for example i'm going to film with the back facing camera, right? So I would film in front of a window. The window has the most natural lighting. So right now my window is over there, uh, but it's a little bit further away because I do have better camera and better lighting in here. Um, but if you're just starting out, I would recommend you put your phone right um, on your windowsill and then you can basically um, just film like that. Um, if it's too low or too high, you can always use um, books to stack it up to be a little bit higher. Um, or you just move yourself to another window if it, that doesn't work either. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you do have a little bit of money, I would definitely recommend you go purchase some sort of tripod. That way um, you can basically film anywhere and you can angle it in a better way and even shoot B-roll if you wanted to. So this tripod I have right here um, is from Amazon. They're not too expensive. I believe it's less than $30. I'm sure there is even cheaper versions out there. I wanted a more good quality one. That's why I have this one. Um, but this one is Blitz Wolf, so I'll link everything down below. Um, this this one's pretty cool because this one also has um, an attachment for um, if you wanted to shoot with a tri tri no <laughs> if you wanted to shoot with a point and shoot. Um, but this one is has a really good quality and even has a remote in the front that helps you take photos. Or I don't know if it records for you, but um, it does have a little remote here. Um, it goes up really high 
and then it has those legs to um for you as a tripod so that's really nice and i definitely recommend it if you do have a few bucks laying around and you can pay for one of these but if not the window is your best friend. So the next question you may ask, how do I edit my videos? Um, this is a very good question, depending on what um, laptop you have. If you have a laptop, that's perfect. You can use whatever is free. So if you have um, a MacBook, you will obviously have iMovie. If you have a Windows, I believe it's like Windows Movie Maker or something like that. I'm not sure if that's still out there. I haven't used the Windows in a long time, but I'll link that down below and everything um, that's full detail, full blown will be in my free YouTube checklist. So make sure you go sign up for that down below. Or you can even use phone apps nowadays phone apps are really, really good. You can actually um, use iMovie, I believe, on your phone. You can have a lot of different free apps that are editing for your videos and that you can add like little cute little things on it. So definitely recommend you check those out. Um, and I will definitely have a few listed in my YouTube checklist. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. You just use what you can. Um, a lot of the times we think that we have to have all the fancy equipment, all the fancy stuff, but everyone starts off using whatever they can and it's something that you shouldn't be ashamed of. And yeah. And last but not least, don't forget to take a photo of your thumbnail. So you would just use your phone, you, whether it's just taking a photo of yourself or taking a photo of certain thing that you're talking about. So for example, if I'm talking about my um, tote bag, so I'll be like, what's in my tote bag video? Then I'll just take a bag, of my, take a photo of my tote bag and I would use um, a free editing software, graphic software such as Canva. You can also try to find free templates that you can figure out how to use um, and that will be pretty much it. And I definitely recommend you do that because um, Thumbnails tell all. So uh, a lot of the times people click your videos because other than your title is your thumbnail. So you definitely want to show um, what your video is all about and that they should go and check it out. So those are my simple and top little mini tips to sh to let you know how you can create your own YouTube channel with no money. Uh, make sure you sign up for the YouTube checklist on a budget. It'll give you a lot more information with a lot more recommendations. And um, yeah, so make sure you follow me on Life with Holly Lifestyles um, on Instagram for all the updates and behind the scenes. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.